What's up guys? Good morning and a beautiful morning out here in San Francisco. We went through the gates of Golden Gate and I am with my buddy Crispy Fish. Chris. And we're on his boat again guys and we're after some last minute salmon. Hopefully big boy salmon. I did mention, I'm not too sure how long ago, I thought I was going to be over with the salmon. Chris gave me the last minute invite, literally like last night. He goes, hey man, I'm after some salmon. Do you want to go? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and hit it and try to get like a 20 pounder. It'll probably be my personal best if you were to hook up. So anyways, we got we got the, we got the Chris on this side. Chris's setup is on this side. His is already fishing. Mine's going down right now. And we're gonna be fishing what depths right now, Chris? Uh, we're 60 feet of water. We're gonna be doing probably 30, 40, 50 feet. Okay. We're hearing the bites maybe around 90 feet, so we're heading that direction right now. Gonna try and find these fish. Party boats have been getting the last few days. Kind of rare here in late October, just a few days before the season ends. November 8th, I think it is this year. So trying to get one of these big ones. Let's cross our fingers. Me and Chris been trying to get after some big ones and it has to happen. So hopefully hook up guys. So out here guys, the tactic that Chris likes to use and I like to use uh, when I go salmon trolling fishing is uh, the crippled the crippled anchovy uh, with the little glow head and then about a three foot leader with the flat the, the spinning flasher. It looks like we have a little one on. Yeah, there's something on. Either some seaweed or oh, a, little a little trout size salmon. little trout size guys Chris saw his uh, rod was acting funny and uh, that's a perfect uh, trout trout size good eater but not not to keep for salmon so you don't want to touch the fish just the hook release him there barbless he falls right out nice there you go. Little update here, guys. We've been trolling for about an hour. We're about a two, three miles per hour of trolling. We got Chris right there navigating us. We got cameras rolling, trying to get, uh, trying to get a bite here. Um, if you guys noticed a little bit earlier, Chris got a little shaker. That's pretty much the only action. Um, so yeah, we're just hoping, hoping for the best. But man, absolutely, the fog went away. Absolutely gorgeous out here guys. So many boats, so many party boats. We are in the location. I love it because it brings energy and positivity when you see this around. Uh, the last couple of days it's been hit going off. That's why I'm out here with Chris. Got that invite. So hoping we can get a nice, nice one on board here. We are on. Let's get a salmon. Hopefully we can keep them. We're using barbless uh, hooks. I see color guys about 30, 40 feet away. Hopefully we can land them. Right when we're going through that thing. Right when we, me and Chris were talking about tons of bait for like a hundred yards in a row. You gotta keep tension on these fish because it is that barbless. Yeah! Fish on! Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Nice, dude! Chris, we're on, man! <laughs> we can do it, dude! Heck yeah! Me and Chris been after this fish. What time is it? Hold on. I think that's a 12, 13 pounder. 12 pounder? Yeah! Yes, man, we did it, dude! Feels so good. We've been out here, what, four hours probably? Yeah. Four hours. We'll measure them out, weigh them out. Yes. Um, we're gonna give the fish away, not give the fish away to <laughs> someone, but a way on the scale. All right guys, so like I said, I'm gonna have, we're gonna measure or uh, weigh them out. We just wanna see before we bleed them out and gut them out. As I thought. 12 pounder, 11 and a half. You guys see that? Beautiful. 12 pounder, 11 and a half. That's what I thought, right? We brought him in. Yes, that's what's up, guys. Woo. 
All right, guys, there he is. He's in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I already cut the gills, bleed them out, and then I'm just gonna get a knife, take the guts out, take the bloodline, and they'll uh, be ready to go, put them on ice. Sure. Tension, tension. Turn left a little bit. Okay. Left, your left? Yep. What side have we caught them on? Okay, it's going. Let me slow down. Slow down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. Turn left, we're good though. We're good, we're good. Okay. We are hooked up, guys. Chris is hooked up. Ernie's rod again, man. My rod looks like my rod's being lucky this last last minute here, but uh, we want to both. I, I already hooked up to one. I want him to hook up to one. So, all right, Ernie, hook that up to there and grab that. that. All right, we're getting closer, guys. So, let's put this down. Lift it up. Oh god, he's in there though. We got the fish. Yes, Chris! There we go. There it is, guys. There it is. Hooked up. One on one. Looks what? like a... Uh, probably like that? a nine pounder. Yeah. In the box, man. You want to go ahead and bleed them out for me? Yeah, I'll bleed them out for you. You got it hurry, Chris. Yeah, much bigger one, guys. Let's check it out. Yeah, for sure. Chris, you're great at estimation, man. Give me it. It's a uh, 15 pound, 14, 15. I'll take it. I will take it, man. Gave it a little fight. Was taking drag, tying the drag just a tad, a little bit more. Got to keep tension to these guys because obviously it's a barbless hook. Check it out, guys. Still active, we gotta put them out. Beautiful, nice chunky guy. Maybe 15, 16, isn't it? Yeah. Nice one? Yeah, that's pretty right on my first guess, huh? 14 pounder. Yep. Nice fish. Something tells me it's 19 pounds. All right, well, you're pretty accurate, man, every time, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it idling? 18 now? and a half, 18 for sure. Nice. Man, nice can't size, get it. Man. Nice size. It can't complain though, right? Oh no, very happy, not complaining. <laughs> Just not many season, or opportunities left this season. Yeah. Probably, if you count like shakers and stuff, over 50 salmon, not one 20 pounder all year. Next year, or either one more week. Yeah, go. you know, we got that opening day crab. Give it a try. That's it, guys. Limits out. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to go ahead and lead this guy out here and going home happy, two apiece with uh, Chris and I. And I'll see you guys back at the house. I have a couple recipes in mind, not too sure. We'll see you guys back at the house.
right guys, welcome back to the kitchen, to my house, and what a freaking awesome outing that we had. But let's get to business. It is Halloween, so happy Halloween guys. I did start the filet job earlier in the day. It, we've just been doing a lot of errands, but anyways, we're having people over, my brother's girlfriend, my sister's boyfriend, and obviously all of us at the house. So let's go ahead and check this out guys. Look at this beautiful steaks of salmon. We're gonna go ahead and leave leave that beautiful skin on because we're gonna be poaching this salmon. So the first thing before we head outside guys, we just wanna go ahead and lightly, lightly salt your fish. Uh, I am using um, kosher salt. I, use, I like to use fresh black pepper. Just go ahead and uh, put that on there. So that's pretty much it, salt and pepper, and that's it because we're gonna be poaching this fish outside. I'm gonna leave these here. So let's go outside, guys. So as you guys noticed, I did have a little uh, stick of butter melted on the cast iron, guys. Let's go ahead and put this white onion on in. And technically, what we're gonna do, we just wanna caramelize this. Same thing, a fresh uh, garlic clove head. And all what we're gonna do is just mix this in, this nice butter sauce. Um, let the sugars come out of the onion and we'll go to the next step guys. We're gonna add some Italian seasoning here guys. Just to season up the, the onions and garlic. Alright guys, we're just gonna use some barefoot white wine. Any white wine's good guys. We just wanna go ahead and uh, deglaze this pan here. Just enough, just enough to cover the pan, that's about it. Let's go ahead and let this uh, alcohol evaporate and let's go ahead and add the heavy whipped cream, guys. The alcohol from the wine already cooked off. And I'm gonna be putting a good amount because we're gonna be poaching. We're gonna do, actually this whole, this whole quart. The whole quart is perfect amount. Let's go ahead and get this to a little bit of boil and then we're gonna add our vegetables. Sun-dried tomatoes, guys, super good to make that Tuscan flavor. I am gonna go ahead and add the whole thing here. And let's go ahead and mix this in, get it back to a little bit of a boil. And we're gonna add the last uh, ingredient, the spinach. Last ingredient going in to our sauce, guys, is fresh spinach. And I'm just gonna do little handfuls. This is gonna wilt down. I am gonna put the lid on top of this guys so it looks like a lot but you're gonna see when i take that lid off it's gonna go down pr pretty much to nothing all right all right last step here guys the beautiful Salmon, I mean look at that super salmon color of that pink salt and pepper guys. Let's go ahead and put it into our sauce. Kind of push it down, get it on in there. Put it on down. But we're gonna go ahead and put it back over the heat. And we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And we'll see how it looks in a little bit. guys let's go ahead and turn off the heat gotta be careful because salmon is super delicate and check that out guys let's go ahead and bring the, the pan over here 
and I'm just gonna put them on in and we'll see you guys back in the house. All right guys, all done with the meal. Let's go ahead and uh, set it up. I got the family right behind us uh, eating and I just got the second batch in. So I just got regular jasmine white rice and I just wanna do a little mountain of rice just like that. And the poached salmon, put it on top guys. Beautiful, check that out. And what we wanna do is grab some of this sauce on the, on the side right here. And what this sauce is, is the sauce is gonna be for this nice Knob Hill sweet bread here. And that's the preparation there, guys. Let's go ahead and dig in and uh, we're gonna have a couple people interview and I'll tell you guys how it came out. And here we go. Best part of every catch you could, guys is having your food prepared just like this. I'm gonna do the first bite and then I'm gonna get into it and then I'll let you guys know when I get done with it. So first bite. Oh my God. Another one. Check it out. Moist, soft, delicate. Mm. That's so good. That is really good, guys. That sauce is no joke. With your little crunchy bread. Mm hmm. That is really good. That is so good. I, have, I literally have nothing to say. Just try that recipe out. Very simple and easy. A couple ingredients. And, um. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Like, probably one of the best meals I've ever made. Like, just because how moist the fish is, it's coming out perfect in that sauce. You can't overcook it at all either. I had it in there for like, each batch was in there for like 12 minutes. You just pull it out and just do another batch for 12 minutes. But, let me finish this. We'll get back to you guys and see how everybody else thought about it. All right guys, we got, our plates are all done, as you notice, and then we have beautiful Leilani, that's my brother's girlfriend, guys. So Leilani, tell us about the plate. It was a delicious meal. The salmon was super juicy, super tender, and the sauce was packed with flavor, so it's definitely worth trying. And my sister, guys. Um, once again, another great meal. All the flavors, very tender. Um, it's good, what can I say? A plus. Awesome, thank you. Mason, and once again, I love this doing this to Mason because he always has the cleanest plate. I love it, man, tell me, dude. Well, as you can tell, I demolished it, it was super good. Uh, the meat was like, it was like butter, it would just like melt in your mouth, mm -hmm. super good. And I like the, the sauce with like the spinach and everything, it was really good with the bread. Nice. Yeah, it was delicious. What do you give it, man, give me a... It was a 10 out of 10, for sure. Wow. Oh yeah. Awesome, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, we always like to do interview guys just to, because we always talk about like even off camera, we do talk about things like that. And as you notice, completely done. So, but uh, anyways, guys, like I said, it is Halloween and happy Halloween. And I want to invite you right now. Michael, come here. Right over here, Michael. And we got Michael right here. It's Maximus, my boy, but he's being Michael Mars for Halloween, guys. So... Anyways, we have another one, but super shy. It's okay. And anyways, guys, I hope you guys are, appreciate and like these videos, guys, because I put a lot of effort into them. And obviously, I love being around my family and cooking for them. And obviously, thanks, Chris. And once again, check his YouTube channel, guys, if you haven't already, Crispy Fish. And I'll be putting that link in the description below. Thanks, man, for taking me out. And uh, Limits, man, we finally did it. So anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.